Think about this, about 33 million real Christmas trees are sold every year in the U.S. But according to Safer Brand, each one of those trees could contain up to 25,000 bugs. Yikes, WFM Money's is Candace Red is live at Delancey Street Holiday Trees in Greensboro with how to avoid these Christmas tree critters. Well, good morning. As you can see, I am here at Delancey Street, as you said, and we all love a great Christmas tree for the holiday season. But the last thing you want are bugs. Nobody wants that right now. I'm joined with Timothy Councilman. He's the head man in charge here. So, Timothy, quick question. How can folks avoid Christmas tree bugs? Um, one way you can do is you can always, once you buy the trees, you can stick it in your garage and, and you can put it under a white sheet and shake it and let it sit out there like two to three days. Um, another way is if you do find some, you can use neem oil to take care of all the bugs and stuff like that. But if you see a white flake area or something like that, that would be a uh, you know, bug infestation. Or they recommend if you do find them, don't crush them on your furniture because they will leave a mark. That's the last thing any of us wants. We do not want bugs, and we definitely don't want a stain after squishing definitely. that poor little bug. Nobody wants uh, that to happen. Tell us more about Delancey Street. Um, Delancey Street is a two-year residential program for men and women who've hit their rock bottom in some type of way, whether it be drugs, alcohol, or trips to prison or jails. And it is self-sufficient. Um, anyone can come. Everything is paid for. You need nothing. So... Just come on by. We're at 811 Greensboro, North Carolina. All right. Thanks so much, Tim, for your time here on the Good Morning Show. And if you missed all those tips, don't worry. I'll be here at Delancey Street right here at this Christmas tree lot. It's located on Church Street talking more about how you can avoid Christmas tree bugs. I'm going to send it over back to you on the studio. All right, Candace. Like you said, the key is to shake it. All right, for more ways to avoid Christmas tree bugs, as Candace mentioned, you can find her story in the Good Morning Show page on WFMINews2.com.